What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and today we're going to show you the step-by-step -step process of doing due diligence on storage units. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. YouTube community, you have to give Chandler some heat for this. He cut me out of these storage units. We had a pact, a brotherhood. We're, uh, we're sales brothers, and he got the lead on these, and he's buying them himself. The filthy animal. Oh, oh, Jan. Hey, <laughs> there you are. Hey, didn't mean hey. to, didn't know you were standing there, buddy. Just so everybody knows, Garrett has purchased tons of properties without me, so there's but no hard feelings. Units, we had a deal. <laughs> I found some. What did I do? <laughs> hey, I got some storage units. We should buy them together. That was good. Oh, I'm already buying that was because some. You Sorry, didn't, buddy. You didn't know how to do the due diligence. No, 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 And you needed extra money no, to go no, into no, the deal. No, 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 Both no, reasons no, no. you added me. However, right now, Garrett is also <laughs> shopping out some other storage units might be going through those and the due diligence and stuff on that as well but then Garrett again called me and said hey come do these with me and I'm like dude well, you before, found them that was before you were yeah. cutting me out of these beauties I said dude you found them I'll help you do it you can buy them on your own if you want but odds are I'm gonna be able to talk him into letting me in on that deal so we'll let you know what happens you know what I think this highlight of this show is gonna be a little romance with Ruth <laughs> Chandler's late again per usual. that stands for per usual while waiting I befriended Ruth, <laughs> sat in her car for about 20 minutes and shot the breeze. It turned into something special. Good old Ruth. All right, guys, we're here at the storage units. This property is 86 storage units. It also comes with a single wide trailer and it comes with a bigger shop over there that I think it was what, 40 by 80? 80 by 40. 80 by, <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna run you through the due diligence process that I'm gonna go through with these storage units. First off, and most importantly is just the numbers on things. So when I come in, I wanna know how many units or what sizes, what are they rented at, and then I've had my secretary call around to the 12 or 15 closest storage units and just see what market rent is at. Now, there are lots of old storage units close that the market rents are not really market. They're gonna be low, just like the rents on this property were. And that's what you wanna call around for and see where the top of the market is. You're also gonna call and make sure that they don't have any vacancy or try and see how much vacancy they have. When you make these calls, it's actually kind of tricky because anytime you ask too many questions, for the owner of a storage unit complex, they get kind of nervous because a lot of times the owners are the ones that are taking the calls because they're mom and pop shops. So when I had my secretary called, we had her call, get all the information. Then we had James here who does it all for me, also call and get as much information as we could out of those 12 to 15 different places. That helped me know where the market was for these specific units. Right now they're completely filled even though there are a couple open right now. She claims they have leases. That's the next part of due diligence is we're gonna go through all of the leases. We're gonna make sure that the numbers all add up. We're gonna make sure there's nothing else funky on the number side of things so that we know we can get the numbers that we need to to make them work. Yeah, the, these are an off-market storage unit deal as well. I give Chandler a hard time for cutting me out, but I'm actually really happy for him. But uh, I, read, I read something on Instagram, like 70% of storage units nationwide are just locally owned and operated, just mom and pop businesses. So it really is kind of like a hidden gem to come in and improve management and improve the numbers and run it like a business if you have that experience and you know make some good money in, in so doing. Let's go. <laughs> So when we do these walkthroughs, we're just looking for any damage and Dan is the one that we use to inspect the majority of our properties. He's awesome. But you're just going around and seeing stuff like this. This is stuff that I don't want to say you can nickel and dime the previous seller, but you just want to take a list of it. You want to see how much it's going to cost and preferably you want it fixed. If you can't get it fixed, you want money back at closing so you can use that money to get it fixed. But also it just helps you to hopefully get the best deal possible on these properties. So that's what we're really looking for. Looking at them immediately, the build quality is great as we'll probably show you from what Dan told us. The reason I always bring in an inspector, even though we've done a fair amount of real estate stuff, is every time he walks through things with me, 
there's something I would have missed. As we'll show you later, we've kind of filmed this in a weird thing, but when it comes to the single wide, there's one thing that caught me very off guard that I'll talk about in a minute, but this is the stuff we're looking for. We're putting a list together so we can bring it back to the seller. And we're kind of like creeping around to make sure these are actually filled. We found a couple that were open that were filled, which is kind of weird. And we found a couple that have been abandoned so that we know what we're dealing with. Everything they've reported to us up to now looks like, you know, you get what you get and what they've told us is all true. One of the things that Dan asked about, he asked the current property manager that I wouldn't have thought of. He asked if these are standard door sizes. I imagine that in these storage units, sometimes the doors get damaged or people back into them. And if you have to have a door, you know, custom made to fit the slot, that's a lot more expensive than just calling uh, pilot doors, having them ship you out a new one. So it was an interesting question that he asked that about the, the caps and everything, you know, where did they get it made? And yeah, if it's all standard fit or the other thing with this unit, it, I'm glad we purchased our other ones first and we did done our research, but right away, these stress me out because of how low they are. So yeah. even though we've got 20 feet deep on a lot of them, you're not going to be able to pull as much in rent due to the fact that these are lower. So we're still going to be able to bump rents, but not as much as we could had these had the substantially higher, um, you know, garage doors so that you can fit boats. Yogi and Chan storage. Come see yeah. us. <laughs> I'm gonna try and talk Yogi into doing an ad that I know 100% he will not want to do. And I know their, our viewers are gonna want to see it. It's just whether we can talk Garrett into it or not. What's going on, guys? We've got big ones, small ones, and two variations of medium ones. Half off. <laughs> Chandler needs to get me on payroll. <laughs> no more free lunches, buddy. <laughs> hey, you got a sweat stain on your back. Thanks. Here's what I'm thinking. <sighs> we need you to take your shirt off and sit on the bed. <laughs> no. And just do an ad for us. No. <laughs> but now, they're either gonna get it or they're not. Now they're gonna see that you didn't do it because I'm definitely gonna put this on the video. <laughs> I got bit by bed bugs once and I do not want it to happen again. What if you just squat and pretend like you're sitting on it? Why do I have to take my shirt off? Because it's hilarious. <laughs> You just, that's the ultimate hillbilly, a guy with his shirt off. Guys, just so you know, our other video about storage <laughs> units has blown up more than any other video I've ever posted. I've done videos with Stradman, Ryan Pineda, Meet Kevin, Graham Stefan, and the video that pops off faster than any other video is the second that Garrett goes down to his tank. Can you imagine what's gonna happen when we get him down to no shirt no, on? No, the people don't need that. The people don't want it. But what's it worth to you? Anything's got a number, buddy. Mm, how much is it gonna take? You make me the first offer and we'll go bucks. from there. No. 100 bucks to take your shirt you gotta off buy for me five something. seconds? The money? No, no, no. I need something cool. Something cool. I need a, some sort of a reward. What would be cool? 100 bucks It's going to have to go in the savings account. What if I get you a Big Judd's hamburger? No. <laughs> no, I'm trying to lose weight. Remember the last video? <laughs> you buy you and I matching cowboy boots. Okay, deal. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot to mention earlier, me and Garrett hit a very intense gym sesh, and so these large pectorials don't come out of nowhere. Check this out. This is all the YouTube trolls. You get tired unloading your stuff at Chandler Storage, we give you a place to rest. Come on by, we got some vacancies. <laughs> now I feel like we need a seductive video with some background music. <laughs> hey Ruth, what you doing this Thursday evening, girl? <laughs> Just kidding, I'm happily married. I have two kids and a beautiful wife. Ruth, uh-uh, can't have this. I have a real life with real friends and family and I see them after Chandler makes me do these dumb videos. And they're like, they're like, what do you get out of this deal? And I'm like, well, I'm sure the payment's coming. <laughs> they're like, so you just do whatever he says? Like, oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I'm, I'm, I'm jealous and I'm excited for you. You'll get some signage up here. That's what I should have made you do. Post what? a billboard for me. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to renegotiate. In that seductive pose. <laughs> I, know, I know. I don't know if I want the world to see that. 
kind of hoping this video bombs. Don't smash her. Uh, <laughs> what are those? Don't smash her like. No, or definitely follow. do it. Definitely <laughs> no, smash, smash the like button. Like. So guys, this uh, this property has three different ways that we're gonna make money. One is obviously the storage units, but then the single wide trailer in the future, this is a lot of land that we could potentially add more storage units. You know, there's a chance add another dwelling unit down here. Just this unit alone, we should be able to get rents to $850 for a two bedroom trailer, especially with all of this space, maybe even more, but that's all that I need to make it make sense. Over on the bigger um, garage, what would you call that? I call it shop. a shop. We're gonna cut that in half, and I think we can get $1,000 on each side, maybe even 1,200. Yeah, it's pretty big. Right now. Yeah. And then all of these, the gross rents, we're gonna see where we end up, but I think we're over $7,000 in what we can get on a consistent basis with these. So you put all those together and this property is gonna be able to bring in, I would guess, close to $10,000 a month gross. A home run, man. Which at our current purchase price, it's gonna be really good, especially with how low expenses are on all of this stuff. It's awesome. So, but we'll show you a little walkthrough in this. The one thing that Dan showed me is in the, uh, the well, the well is not a, a deep well. He told us what it was called. I didn't San Jose remember pump it. or something like that. It was something like that. It really was. <laughs> something. It's called a sand point well. Something like San that. San Clemente. Um, so, San Bernardino pump. So the quality of the water has the potential to not be as good, and there's some other risks. I think that the, I that. think the term he used was it's 20 feet deep, which is the same level as your sewer. <laughs> yeah. Which, <ee. laughs> so that was something, and then there's a lot of a tilt on this trailer. I mean, you could go in and, and pump it up, but with how everything has been built around it, it kind of is what it is. You're gonna milk this trailer for as long as you can. And then at that point, I would probably consider putting something else new in. That's something that I'm not worried about right now, but I know there's a lot of value add opportunity here for if there reaches a point where I've got money I wanna to put to work and it's not on purchasing more property. I think you should put two or three big shops right here. That's what I would do. <laughs> yeah. If this were my deal, <laughs> which it's not. <laughs> so, unfortunately. We'll, <laughs> we'll show you a little walkthrough of that unit because we went through it earlier. One other question for you. In like 30 seconds, what are the biggest things you were looking at while looking at the units? Damage. You know, the first thing's roof. Just make sure the roof's good and not leaking. Um, and then, you know, open them up and look to see how they're constructed. Well constructed. I mean, they look like 12 foot on center two by fours, which is nice. Well built. If you want to park your stuff in a storage unit in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> Rigby, <laughs> <laughs> significantly worse than Idaho Falls. <laughs> Don't come to Chandler's storage units. Come to mine and Chandler's in Idaho Falls. <laughs> this big one? Yeah. I've been trying to get a hold of him for... <sighs> Let a man do this here, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty long. I don't got it. Let's try this one. Yeah! There we go. It's got normal outlets. He said there was a 220 in here. I'm hoping there's more than one. I'd throw his ass out of here and build two layers of five by eight storage. You think? You bet. Here's what you I'm thinking. Three rows of them in here. Another one of those operations that steals Lamborghinis. Yeah. We park them in here. Hey. What do you we think? Get bigger ones in here. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. I need a shop like this in my backyard. What do you think? Yep. That'd be pretty cool. What would you do in it? Play basketball? Oh, I'm not much of a hooper. <laughs> I'd probably put a tramp for my kid. Put a tramp in here? That way in the winter he can jump on the tramp? That'd be cool. Don't do the concrete floor then. Yeah, that, that could cause problems. Yeah, how much of a deposit does he have? None. He's refused to pay it. When does his lease end? He is not under a lease right now. He was supposed to move out the 1st of April because we were up in the ramp. And he said he's got to stay till December. 
He doesn't have to. Yeah. He can be evicted at any given moment. Okay. Dan, so I don't think there's a 220 in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Who is there? The it's in the panel. The panel. Oh. Yeah, it's a 200 amp 220. But there's not one run yet. She got lots of space. Oh, you got, and here's That's the main. 200, 220s in there. So in here, um, we have a couple of problems. First off, all of this salt is causing some major damage with the exterior of the building and the wood. The other thing is, is we just found out for the first time that this tenant hasn't been paying rent. And I want them out anyways with all this crap because I don't want this in here because of what it's doing to the building. And I want to be able to put a wall in so that we can increase the rent substantially by having a tenant here and a tenant over there. So now it's just the hard part of figuring out with the seller while I'm also, you know, on, not on the fence, but trying to make sure the deal goes through because the numbers work while also trying to negotiate with them to see if we can get these things fixed and get the tenants out before we close because I really don't want to deal with this tenant by the sounds of things. Now, at the end of the day, I'd probably still take the tenant on if that was the only option to purchase the building because we know how to do evictions. They're just not fun and there's probably high risk of them acting out, especially with this big machinery on their way out. <laughs> so that's one of my bigger concerns. It sounds like they didn't give us any deposit. So we're just gonna have to see where we end up on this. Do you want your stuff stored with oil spills and salt and all this other garbaggio. Mm -mm. No, you don't. Come to Garrett and Chan Storage in Idaho Falls. Not only Chan Storage out here in Rigby. Garrett and Chan is the place to be. Thanks, Thanks so much. We'll talk let, to and you let me know. You. Let me know if you need a dancer out there at your bar. How far are you willing to go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just giving you a hard time. You Ruth. look good in red. <laughs> See you, Ruth. This is one of the things that. Chandler and I both kind of learned from the inspection. Uh, Dan talked about how a lot of builders, if they're not very careful, will put this over that. I don't know the names of either of these pieces. The walls over the caps, maybe? That seems like a good name. And what happens when they do that is rain comes in. So these builders did a really good job. The caps are on the outside of the walls. How's that for an explanation? Fantastic. That... Dan's really good at noticing little things He's that awesome, are, are signs of bigger things. He's awesome. So It's cool too, become friends with your inspector. Dan will always move stuff around to help you out. And I feel like I've gotten really close with him too. Like he's just a good dude. He, he really is. Above and, beyond. Well, and, and more importantly than your inspector, this is something that Garrett is the king at, and that is becoming friends with literally everyone. Yeah. Ruth would take a bullet for you. Yeah. So just immediately and connect I for her. And, and that's one thing that I've always loved about sales is you learn how to connect with people. And so if you wanna learn how to do that better and make money in the process, we're gonna put the link down below where you can apply to come and work with the legend <laughs> of connecting with people. And I think the reason Garrett's so successful is yes, he's learned how to connect with people, but he does it because he just likes making people feel good. And when you do it that way, things always work out the way they should. Thanks, so, brother. You're the man. <laughs> All right, guys, we've come to the end of the video. So we've made sure to run through all the numbers on this property. We've looked at all of the units. We've made sure the build quality is good. We've checked out the single wide trailer. We've checked out the bigger garage and everything is looking pretty good. The only other things that I would say we need to do is make sure that we check for any easements, make sure that the ownership of all of the property that's included is all there and that there's nothing sketchy on title. But when it comes to the numbers and do it, well, and the one other thing is we've got to figure out that tenant in the end or uh, that's in the shop because we do want them evicted before we take ownership and want to get that all cleaned up, broken up and rented out. But overall, everything looks very clean. The numbers look good. And there might be a couple other things that I skipped in this video, but if you want to learn those things when it comes to going through the full due diligence process, make sure you click the link down in the description and pick up my real estate investing course and you can get $50 off and it's going up by $250 here at the end of the month, not July, the end of August. Anyways, make sure you pick it up now so you can get the discount and that way you can run through the whole process if you're looking to scale your rental portfolio. Now, if you don't wanna spend money yet, that's okay. Go watch our other videos. You can see Garrett more. You can also learn a ton about everything that you need to do to go through the process of getting your first rental, buying storage units, buying apartments, and a myriad of other real estate that we purchase. So with all of that, I, I have talked a lot. Do you have anything to say? Nope. No, you know what you're supposed to say. <laughs> no. It's, t it's literally your thing.
Cowboy boots? <laughs> and no, you've got the cowboy boots and you told me they're way more expensive than I expect. So. They are substantially more. <laughs> <laughs> then you should be fine doing this. Uh, Hurry or I'll make you take it. Smash your... <laughs> the like button, like and subscribe and follow and slide up on my DMs and do all that stuff to help me out. Thanks guys, have a great day. <laughs>